Hey guys, we're ready for another video and this one's going to be about using Turnitin.com and how to set up an account there. This isn't submitting a paper, that's going to be its own video, okay? But this is just in case you were out and you missed the, the class to set up. Here's where we're going to start, okay? First off, we're going to go to the website. It's pretty hard to remember. Turnitin.com's website is actually Turnitin.com, okay? Replay the video if that was a little bit too fast. I understand. It's pretty hard and pretty difficult to remember. Okay. Now, some people might already have an account. Maybe another class made you make an account from previous years. Awesome. Then all you have to do is first just go up here and log in, then sign in, and then you can enroll in the class with the information I gave you on another page. Okay. If you haven't, though, what you need to do is go to the create account. Okay? Don't be tricked by this page where it already has some information maybe filled out or maybe it wants you to put the email address. You're going to look down here at the create a new account and click student. Okay? Now, using the information for uh, what I gave you, depending on which class you're in, I want you to go ahead and fill that spot in now. Okay? Uh, I don't know what class you're in personally right now, but let's go ahead and use this class. Oh, hey, look, it pops up there because I've done this already. Okay, and then the enrollment password is going to be Crayer. Awesome, great, I'm glad you remembered that. Okay, uh, first name, Tomer. Uh, go ahead and put it in and then make sure your last name is in there. Don't put like anything stupid up here. Make sure it's your actual first name and last name because I don't want to give the grade to someone else. Your email address should also be your own. Uh, hopefully, you're smart and you've made a Gmail account or a Yahoo account at this point. It's not something stupid like sexy stud 42 or something like that. It's creepy and I don't want to see those emails. Okay. The password can be whatever you want it to be. It could be something you always fall back on and use. Um, I don't really care. I don't know what it is. So make it something you're actually going to remember. Okay. And my cat is sneezing. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once you've figured out the password, go ahead and toss the password in here, something that you'll remember, okay? And then the next section is basically, you're never going to remember your password, even though I tell you to remember it. Sophomore year, you're going to come back from summer and you'll remember nothing. So go ahead and make sure that uh, you're, you have a good question that only you would know, hopefully, not your best friend. So, ooh, favorite author, that's pretty good. Your library card number. I know you have that memorized at this point in your life. Uh, first phone number, you know, whatever. Okay, so just find a question that you feel like you know. Yeah, there we go, Chauncey. Okay, and then go ahead and click the I agree, create. Well, hopefully you don't get anything like this kind of popping up here, but uh, let's see here. Oh, no, cookie's not enabled. Usually it doesn't matter, just take continue to dashboard. Probably the school ones won't be a big problem like that. But hopefully now you see the class name and the class ID of uh, the one that you've entered. Now you can go ahead and click that class and then from here you'll see assignments down here when you need to and then you'll submit them on this page. Okay, That's about it for this one. That's how to create an account on Turnitin.com. Okay? Adios.